I just want to be me. Good girls galore, so I'm going up call. Okay guys, so it is currently 9.20 a.m. So we're not doing too bad for time. I mean, if I woke up, because I slept in later today, I woke up at 8 instead of 7. So, you know, we're kind of behind in time, but it's not that bad. I do have a busy day today, so I am just going to jump right into work after making some coffee. Um, I have a meeting at 1, because I plan on shooting two videos, and I also have some client work that I need to get out there. So, we're going to have a productive day. It's going to be busy, <laughs> but we're going to have a productive day today. So, join me. Let us get productive. get ready for my videos um, I'm about to start getting my makeup done and when I do my makeup I do one or two things I either listen to music and you know one of my playlists or I listen to podcasts so my podcast for the day is it's off the cuff podcast so every day of the week I have a podcast that I listen to but off the cuff is my Thursday podcast but plus I really love podcasts because I just feel like I'm in a room full of people and we're having a conversation it just helps at times when you just feel like you know you need some sound around, but you don't want too much sound. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. You know, it just, it's just, it's a win-win. So let us go. So I am shooting like 12 videos at a time. So my mind is like, I'm losing it. <laughs> anyway, so I just finished the Pinterest video. I, I honestly, I have a very strong feeling that I'm going to have to reshoot that video. And I hate reshooting anything, especially because this Pinterest video, this is the second time that I'm reshooting it. So I'm not happy about that. Secondly, um, what's it called? I'm exhausted. Secondly, I'm exhausted because I, I just finished shooting my morning routine video. And then my... While, while I'm also vlogging this. So I, I'm doing the Pinterest one, I'm doing my morning routine, and I'm also vlogging. So it is a lot on your girl, okay? Like, we is tired. Africa, she at work. <laughs> but um, yeah, guys, I think I'm gonna start taking off my makeup. Like, I really just, I just wanna be me. I, I just wanna be me. I just wanna live in the moment, enjoy myself. And right now this makeup isn't letting me do that, so. Let us take off this makeup and get about, should I edit tonight? I don't know. I'm not going to edit tonight to be honest. I'm just going to wait till the weekend to edit. But it's good that I'm getting all this content. Plus it is golden hour guys. Wait, I'm supposed to be rounding up this vlog for today. But it is golden hour. Let me show you guys what it looks like right now. staying for the weekend this is an airbnb here in winnipeg it is this by this rental company called rum rentals so basically this is a two bedroom it's on the 20th floor i'm going to show you guys around and show you guys my favorite pieces wow. okay guys so this is the living room um it is very very wooden i think the apartment has a very masculine feel to it which i don't mind at all um it's very simple 
black and white details. I especially love this painting here on the wall. It's just, you know, it adds a bit of color to the room, just brightens it up a bit. The couch is a black couch, simple, but I love that it put some pillows here to give it a bit more character. Like I said, it's simple modern details. So the table as well has the same touch. This coffee um, table book was from the bedroom. I just put it up in here just because I feel like it makes it look a lot better. It comes with a TV, which has Netflix, as well as two couches here. So you could host guests if you want as well. So then let's get into the kitchen. So guys, this is a kitchen. It's very, very intimate. I love that the um, dining table is metal. I feel like this was made from like scrap metal, you know, kind of gives it that edgy feel a little bit. And the couches, the, the chairs as well are very, very comfortable. In the kitchen, you have, you know, a microwave, stove, as well as a dishwasher. Of course, it comes with a coffee maker as well, and a couple of dishes if you wanted to, you know, eat something, host some guests, and whatnot. And then if you look into some of these drawers, they have like spatulas, you know, things that you would actually need while you're here, some knives. Um, yeah, basically that. Just very simple, very clean. I love that they throw in a bit of add pieces in here to just add a bit more character, add a bit more color into the room. I think it is really, really, really beautiful. Now, there are two bedrooms in here. There's one over here, which is the master bedroom, and there's one on this side. We're gonna go to the master bedroom first before we go to the second bedroom, so come on. Okay, so welcome to the master bedroom. This is where I am staying. This room defines minimal. So from the color to the artwork, it is all very minimal. Also a bit monochromatic because it's taken to this very, very fun blue color. Like I said, the whole apartment has a masculine feel to it. So if you're looking for something a bit softer, probably not this room, but I really love it. The details are very simple. The details are very, you know, straight to the point. The bed though is a bit low, but I still like it. It's comfortable. Yeah, it's just really low. I especially love this room for two reasons. One is the wardrobe space. There is a lot of wardrobe space. As you can see, all my stuff is in here. Okay, my second favorite thing about this bedroom is the view. Um, as you guys know, this is on the 20th floor and we can oversee the city of Winnipeg. That is the Rogers Building. Manitoba Hydro is over there. It is a really, really nice view of the city. And I like that I can see that even when I sleep. So we can go in the background so you guys can see what that actually looks like. We are pretty high up. You can see the whole of the city. And it is scary, guys. So I have a bit of height. So I will not be spending a lot of time on up here. But, you know, it's nice to have if you're not afraid of heights. So let us go in. Hurry. Okay, so now we're back inside. And I'm going to show you guys the bathroom. bathroom it is not the biggest bathroom but it's also not very cramped in as you guys can see i have enough room to lay out my makeup thing is i think this is my favorite thing about this bathroom so this is the medicine cabinet but i love what it did with the cover it's this textured but well, i really love it i really love this bit of it so that's my favorite part and then the shower and the shower is nothing too fancy to be honest it's just a regular shower it comes with a shower head on the bottom but I really like the bathroom it's very easy to use and it has great lighting for me to do my makeup and then we're gonna go into the last room and I'll be hiding this room because it's a mess but it's a cute room this is the final room I would say the master bedroom has a lot more character than this room just because the lighting in here is a bit warmer and you know there's not a lot of view but for a second bedroom, it's not that bad. I like how simple it is. Once again, I told you it's a very masculine, um, the masculine loft. So basically, they kept the decor simple. Once again, with the artwork matching the wall, they did that really well. It also has storage in here too. So if you wanted to store your stuff while you're here, you have enough room for that. Especially if you're here for like less than, you know, a month, you should be able to work with this. But if you're here for longer, probably you know, not. <laughs> that is the apartment tour. Uh, it's very simple, very slick. I like this place. You know what's crazy? I would stay here, but I don't know if I would leave here just because of how it's not the it's not the widest place. But for a time away, it's really great, especially at night because when I sleep, I can see the city. It's a really nice view. I just won't be going on the balcony. 
But yeah, guys, so I hope you guys stay tuned for the rest of the vlog. That's it. Bye. <laughs> Hi guys, so it is currently Wednesday, the 28th of April. Why do I keep forgetting the month of April? So I'm currently, I'm currently checking out of the Airbnb and I'm trying to put my things together. So come in here, I'm packing my stuff. It was kind of easier than usual, but going back now, I'm just wondering if I'm still going to be able to fit everything the same way that I fit them in the first place, which is a major challenge for me. But anyways, my goal right now is to scour this entire apartment to make sure I did not leave anything because I got very comfortable here. Um, so I want to be sure I don't leave any charger, any keys, any earrings, you know, I already lost my earrings at the spa the other day, so I can't be losing things like that, things are expensive. But I am currently packing, let me show you what my process is right now. Here I have my box, and I already packed most of my toiletries, I put my, my soap in there because I brought a soap and a sponge from home, so I put them in there. And I'm just kind of putting everything together, my shoes. Um, I've done the ground work, so I've done kind of the, the clothing items. I've put all of them down there. Look at how I'm mistreating my coach bag and it just came. Like, there's nothing I own that I treat special, which is very, very bad. But when I go home, I'm gonna start treating it better. Or let me get out of here first. Anyways, all my clothes are in there and I'm about to fit my shoes in. And then when I fit my shoes in, I'm gonna close this part of the bag and then I'm gonna flip it over and put my lights in here, which was how I brought them here in the first place. Yeah. So as I check out at 11, it is currently, hey Siri, what time is it right now? It's 9.22 a.m. 9.22, so it's currently 9.22. So I think we're doing good for time. I should, be def I should definitely be out of here by 10, 10.15 10, max, because I'm almost packed up. But yeah, we've done the bathroom um it's just the living room that is left my stand is still here uh my computer and everything else is still you know sitting out here i drank a coke last night guys i feel so filthy but i was just really craving sugar and I the bathroom is good as well i just kind of fled it from earlier this is what i'm wearing i'm wearing this hoodie from h m it's really one of my favorite hoodie like if you see me every day like at least once a week i wear this hoodie and then this pants, this leggings, sorry, are from um, Fabletics. I got them to work out, but they're so comfortable that I wear them literally almost everywhere. All right, guys, let us get packing. We have things. Okay, so that is all done. I will eventually put my camera into that bag and close it. But for now, the living room is clear. I'm gonna put that together and fluff up the pillows. But I'm emptying out the fridge because I got a lot of food. One thing about me, I'm gonna get food. Plus, I told you guys that I'm like PMSing, right? So I got some jollof fries, I got some chicken wings, I got some cheesy bread. Too much. <laughs> Anyways, I'm about to load the dishwasher so it's running while I leave. And then I'm going to take out the garbage. Uh, okay, friends, so I am officially cleaned up i've cleaned everything up um it's time for me to turn up this camera and put it in my luggage so i will bid you guys farewell now and the time the next time you see me i'll probably be in my apartment so bye for now <music>